Hello, a very quick demo for uh, somebody uh, who posted uh, this very nice picture on this Instagram account, or sorry, on the Facebook. And um, yeah, I like uh, I like it, and also the fact that uh, somebody remarked that the top of the the Eiffel Tower is not there. But I agree, that's not what it's about. But I was tiny bit bothered about this angle, and um, I told him, well, you can, it's quite easy to fix, but he didn't really know how to do it. So um, I figured I'd quickly show you how how I would do it. And there's probably multiple ways, and I'm not the best at this, but let's quickly show you what I've done. So the first thing that I've done, I took it into uh, Photoshop, uh, because I don't have the original picture, I just have the JPEG. And I created a little bit more room uh, below the feet, because otherwise it will start touch the 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 lower part so um i basically took it in uh, in uh, photoshop and the only thing i did as you can clearly see i didn't even do a good job oops i basically copied it so that i have a little bit more room in the bottom once i start uh, straightening it out now the straightening it out is very easy so what you can do in lightroom in the development flap is uh, you have an option here to level but you also have one called uh, using guides and what it does then is you, to, you can basically tell it which lines to follow and try to straighten the image but in a smart way if that makes sense so i could for example do a line in through the tower and one on the floor that might work but i think in this case probably the easiest way is to make sure that this line is straight and uh, probably this line and if you tell it to focus on the, these two lines, it will probably work out okay. Um, the tower is a little bit crooked, and I, I, will, I will keep that. I won't fix that, because that was not the question. I'm not sure how crooked it is, but I will try to keep it in the same angle, if that makes sense. So it's very, really easy. You just um, select the guided tool, and you um, put a line here. And you can fill around a little bit with it uh, when you're done, but this is one line. And then I will pick this line over here. And you can do it multiple times and see which results you like better. You can do it a little bit more like this or a little bit more like this. But let me first do it in a more natural lining. And now you will see what it has done. It has uh, made sure that these two lines are straight into the picture. right? And you can also see that... The way that I change the bottom, I will probably go into uh, to Photoshop and fix this up a tiny bit. But um, it personally doesn't bother me at the moment, but I will uh, crop it a little bit more. Uh, but you can see quite easily that is now, um, if I undo it, what has happened. right? And the tower, I think, is yeah, not really that much worse in this, uh, this, in this standing. But the line doesn't bother me anymore now. Um, then I will crop it a tiny bit, so I'll unlock it, basically to bring it back to its original sort of amount of uh, uh, space below the feet. So this is kind of uh, what I want to show you. So if I now compare it with the original, you can see that, um, and maybe I'm just being a little bit anal about this, but I kind of prefer that the lines are straight, and I figured it was a good trick to show people um, yeah, how to do that. So uh, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.